ஆனந்தம் பரமசுகதம் கேவலம் ஜானமூர்த்தி துவந்தாத்தீதம் திரிகுணரஹிதம் தமசியாதிலட்சம் ஏக்கம் நித்தியம் விமலமச்சிலம் சர்வீசாட்சிஹுதம் பாவாத்தீதம் ககன சதம் சத்குரு தம் நமாமி we are taking the 43 verse of shrimad bhagavat gita chapter 2 in this verse the sat guru sachidanand parmatma Lord Krishna is telling to Arjuna Kriya <coughs> sorry Kamatmana Swarga Paraha Janma Karma Phala Pradam Kriya Vishesh Bahulam भोगेश्वर्य गति प्रति काम स्वर्ग परा जन्म कर्म फल प्रदान क्रिया विशेष बहुला भोगेश्वर्य गति प्रति माय डियर अर्जुन कामात्मना दोच पर्सन दे हैव कंप्लीटली इन्वॉल्व इन देयर विशेस देयर डिजायर्स स्वर्ग पर and they all desires only up to the heaven janma karma phal prada and this type of desire and the karmas they are giving in their result janmas and their karmas their storage of functions and their outputs these are called phala phala means result pradham it means giving क्रिया विशेष बहुला एंड दे आर ऑल स्पेशली इन्वॉल्व इन द स्पेशल टाइप ऑफ एक्टिविटी क्रिया विशेष बहुलाम मेनी मेनी भोगेश्वर्य गति प्रति एंड द डायनेमिक्स ऑफ कॉन्सियसनेस विच इज फ्लोइंग टू वर्स द एवेलिंग द एरेस्टोक्रेसी ऑफ डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ sensory organs hungers satisfactory material and what is happening gatim prati 
that's uh, why they are going in the adverse path from the enlightenment my dear friend it is also a very very important stanza of shrimad bhagavad gita the krishna is telling to the arjuna my dear arjun as i told in the 42 stanza the vedavad ratah the person they are admiring and describing and making the propaganda the karmas they are describing the vedas that type of person kamatmanaha they love to the karmas and which karma they love they want to go in the heaven or they want to live in heaven like life and janma janma karma phala prada because they have no orientation to was the enlightenment or awareness in the result they get the death and birth cycle that is the result of these persons and that is the fruits of their karmas and that persons they are interested especially in the activities they are especially interested in the doer and doingness why they are interested because they want to evolve different type of the bhogas bhogas it means the sensory organs inputs by these sensory organs input inputs they feel pleasure so gatim prati the dynamics of their consciousness going to fall fall down downward and all of you knows downward means the birth in the cattle snack words fishes insect etc my dear friend that is the world meaning of this stanza but the secret meaning of this stanza is a very very precious all of you knows that the krishna is sachidananda parmatma i am using is existence and never used bas or bill because existence always presents omnipresence omnipotent beyond the creation cover the all billions uncountable galaxies and the millions of the universes you believe or not believe i don't care but i want to tell truth i don't care that people is gathering to me or not gathering to me but i care only truth and truth is that god existence presents everywhere even in a particle to the galaxies and truth is that the god existence is presents every time 
will be presence every time and was presence every time. Unfortunately, you divided God and unfortunately you make the hypothetical division in the God. God is not dividable. It is unbreakable or un known by your sensory organs. So the Krishna, Rama and many others name of that existence. I want to tell a truth that God existence is presence inside of you in the form of your Atma. But you do not know. The enlightened masters, enlightened persons knows. My dear friend, our object is not intellectuality or debate or the glorious beautification of the words. No, that is not our motive. Our motive is a giving complete awareness and enlightenment to everyone The person can know the presence of existence and rest will be okay by only by this knowing. That is a key of miraculous transformation. My dear friend, in the particular verse of this, the Krishna is telling Kamat Manaha. In India, there is a generally phrase, phrase when a person gives the priority about anything. A person gives the priority for money. We say generally his soul is involved in money. But even that sentence is wrong in the spiritually, but generally the Indian persons use like this. Uski atma to paise mein phasi hui hai. Even the soul cannot involve in anything, but this is the way of talking because the general person use the word soul in the sense of mind, intellect, flow. Anta karna. Sometimes person use the meaning of soul in the sense of antakarna. So Krishna is also using your phrase in this verse. He is telling Kama Atmanaha. Those person they are giving the priority of for the Kamas. The Kama is a very big universal set 
of the millions desires the common name is the kama kama manaha it means his all sensibility and his all awareness and his all knowing and his all being and his all presence that is completely involved and the mesmerized in the different type of desires it uh, may be different desires in the different persons some persons want to earn money they are or they are money oriented persons some persons want to lust some persons want to see this earth beautiful natural places some persons want to power some persons want to name and fame some persons want to adventure some persons want to do any invention and some persons want to be a negative character in this world like the muslim hitler it is or the modern devils i don't want to tell their names so the positivity and negativity they are all the involvements of desires and the all the energy to avail the kamas avail the wishes avail the desires when a person completely blind towards the desires he is blind in desires that is called a kamatmana you can understand it is very precious word and you can see inside that your mind always create new newer and newest wishes and you also like that persons they can fulfill your wishes you also go in many many places there can easily fulfill your wishes the girlfriend and boyfriend goes to many many type of holy places they make wish they put coin and send and throw the coin in the bells and the rivers and anywhere i am giving an example many many person goes that a special type of the pilgrimages temples mosque and anywhere churches and they make wishes this is your real standard or stage of consciousness because your consciousness which is you feeling that precious that is completely unconsciousness kamatmana once upon a time a husband and a wife went to a very precious holy place and wife lift his both hand for wish and then attendantly the wife down his hand the husband ask oh why are you not ask the wish to the god the wife said to the husband i do not ask because i am asking that there is no any problem in your life by the grace of god but when i think if i ask this wish to the god then maybe i die so even your life is going this time you are making 
problems to each other. And that is also involving in your wishes. So my dear friend, I have a next example. Once upon a time, a wife do the tenacity or the prayer a particular god and goddess. The god and goddess appear in front of the wife. The wives ask the wish. I want to be a rich woman. So the god and goddess say anything if you want the double your husband will get. Sorry, not double, not ten times your husband will get. Wife say no worry. He give me a car, just his husband get ten cars. Wife say give give me a mansion, just her husband get ten mansions. Wife say gives me give me a one million dollar. the husband get 10 million dollars. Then the wife say, I want a big polo ground and I want a very nice horses. Ten horses. His husband get one hundred horses and ten polo grounds. Okay. Then last, the wife say, I want a mild heart attack. Very mild heart attack. Then his husband, sorry, her husband get ten times more strong heart attack and then after the husband died and all the treasure which is husband get that also get that wife. So that is your Kamatmana. In this type you desires and you are very clever like that wife because wife knows after the death of husband all treasure will be Come to the wife. My dear friend, your wishes, your desires, they are also contradictory because Gati Prati, in the last word of this stanza, Gati Prati, adverse direction. My dear friends, the next word the Krishna is telling in this stanza, Swargapara. There is two uses of word in Sanskrit, para and apara. Swargapara, it means your all activities, your all desires, your all wishes, your all efforts, your all type of orientation of your life that is only oriented with the heaven-like atmosphere you want. And your heaven is also very, very different. Your heaven is your own hypothetical internal projection of the mesmerism. My dear friends, I will tell truth. I, will, I don't want to please you. 
if you are not pleased by my truth, I do not care. Because if a master will not say the truth, that nobody can eradicate your blindness. Because all are buttering. All are is, 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 uh, is speaking as the stranger 42 Krishna tell the word. Pushpitam bachaha. All are speaking beautification and beautiful words which you can admire and you can happy. And that type of truthless beautification of words, they are like poison. But master's word, they are not poison, they are net. So I am telling Swargapara, the different type of the persons, they are imagining the different type of the heavens. If a person who is non-vegetarian, his vision for the heaven is that the different type of the non-vegetarian dishes easily available in the heaven. That is his hypothetical imagine, imagination about the heaven. A person is a habitual drinker. He imagine that in the heaven there is the pools of the wine. A person is sexy. He thinks that in heaven there must be the whore, the angel like women and can easily involve with relationship freely, freedomly and no any restriction. If a person is greedy, he thinks I will get the treasure in my next birth by my functional goodness. So the many, many type of the heavenly hypothetical imagination of the Jivatma. I remember a flash, a story in my brain. You can understand that it is coming from existence. Once upon a time, the Narad Muni the great master of heaven came on the earth. And the Lord Vishnu tell to the Narad Muni, my, my dear Narad Muni, there is many many vacancy in the heaven. The rooms are empty. The gardens are empty. There is no any person for playground and other and other. The heaven is looking very, very empty now. You go and bring some persons in heaven from the earth. It is an hypothetical story I want to tell. Then you can understand about the heaven. So Narad come on the earth and went a temple and when the person was doing the prayer and crying, Oh my God, you are a so and so and so and I am your servant and I am your devotee and so and so. Narad Bhat patiently stand and say, Oh, they are very loving person. They love to the God. After the finish the prayer, Narad ask, Oh, please, I am the Narad coming from the heaven and God want to call you in heaven, will you go with me? So the most of persons, they ignore the Narada and they went their home and think, oh, how fool. 
taking us in the heaven, I we want to alive now. We have sisters, mothers, wife, children. We have a good job. We have a good family. Why we went, we went to the heaven? This type thinking they went to the home. And some person insult the Nara. Who are you? Where where from you come? You are looking uh, like a joker. You have a big funny tail and you have in hand an older type of music instrument and your cheeks is going inside. Who are you? Nara say, I am Nara. I want, I come here. I want to bring you in the heaven because the Lord Vishnu is calling you in the heaven. So most of person deny and irrespect and push the Narada out of temple and tell, oh, mad person, who will be going to heaven? Who want to die? Narada went temple to temple, temple to temple, pilgrim to pilgrim, and nobody ready to go in heaven. All was live on this earth with the family and wife and children. Then after Narada was very, very disgraced and he feel that if the man is one, don't want to go in heaven, so how, so I can take any animal to heaven because I don't want to go without any result in front of God. So there was a pit, muddy pit, and that very bad smiling. In India, the, the pigs live like this. A pig was sitting in that muddy pit. The house flies was flying all around the pit, that pig. And the shit was the human shit was there, very bad condition. And the pig was injured in the leg because the competition with the female pig, there was a fight with another pig and he was injured. And he was almost crying by the pain. So Narat came. And Narada asked to the pig, do you want to go with me in heaven? So pig asked, what do you mean about heaven? Narada said, heaven is very nice place. There is no pain, no sorrow, no any type of deficit of food, shelter, and living there, you can live like a king's. Pig say, oh, very good. I want, I want. Narad one, please, oh, good. One person, one person get. Pig ask, I want to go heaven, but my, I have question. So Narad say, okay, you ask a question, don't worry. So Pig told to the Narad. Is there this type of pit in your heaven? Full of dirty mud and bad smelling? I like bad smell. So Nara said, no, no. This type pit is not in heaven. This type mud is not heaven. There you can find a very good beds, pillows, cotton beds, but there is, the, there is no any this type of dirty mud and Nara say, oh, I will, uh, sorry, pig say, oh, I will adjust by this uncomfortability. But answer my second question. Is there any female pig for enjoyment? 
physical relationship there. Nara say no, no. There is no any female pig. They, there is the very good uh, the go, goddesses, very beautiful, very young, very smart. They dancing, they singing, they make playing musical musical instruments. The pig was disgraced because. His imagination of heaven that different with the Narad Muni. Then the last question pig asked. My dear Narad Muni, my last question is that is there my food? Because I eat only the a stool of human that shit of human Narasi no dear there is no shit there is no dirty thing there is all pure the flowers the nectar the there is the pool of the nectars you can drink the nectar you can drink the juices you can drink the very nice food material and you can eat the 56 type of different type of uh, dishes just after when the pig here he was very very angry and he moved his tail towards the Narad and Narad Muni was come uh, dirty by the mud drops and abusing Narad. I go away. Bloody fool idiot. You are came here for the heaven. Your heaven is worse than hell. I am okay here. I don't want to go in your heaven. This is the meaning of Swarga Para if you can understand. If you are an intellectual person you can understand that your heaven is different. Everybody's heaven is different. Hindu's heaven is different. Muslim's heaven is different. Christian's heaven is different. Jewish heaven is different. Sikh heaven is different. Both heaven is different. Poor's heaven is different. Rich heaven is different. Female's heaven is different. Male's heaven is different. The millions type of the persons, they have hypothetical imagination of their own heavens. That is called Swargapara. So person is caught in the desires he, uh, he is living in the priority, top priority of their desires and their, their desires decide the type of his heaven. And by this uh, hypothetical and mesmeric life, hypnotized life by the blindness of the Maya. Oh my God! What will be, what will he f face the result? That result is Janma Karma Falapra. By this type of hypothetical and imaginary and blind life and blind thinking and living in the dreams, the Maya provide that type of person and other dream, and other dream, dream after dream, dream after dream. That is called Janma Karma Falprada. In the result, the person get a different type of the birth and physical bodies. If a person is like to eat 
different type of non-vegetarian food, flesh, etc. He will went to the wild animal's life. He can easily get that thing. If a person is very, very fond to eat the seafood, then he will go in the carnivorous fishes or the crocodiles. If a person used, if a person like to eat fruits, he will be go in the birth of monkey. And even a person is caught in the any type of strictness of food, of shelter, lust, any type of, millions type of desires, so they have the millions type of the birth already prepared by the Maya. This is the meaning of Janma, Karma, Fala Prada. You are all doing, your all activities, your all actions, your all karmas, your all kartas. They will never give you enlightenment. They will only give the birth and death cycle. You believe or not believe. This is my duty. To aware and tell you. Because I am the master and it is my duty to expose the truth. Person believe or not believe, this is not my botheration. The sun want to shine and what are you doing in the light of the sun? Sun never bother it. Never bother. My dear friend, Nobody will tell you this type of clear version of this Gita. Everybody will tell you very politely, very beautificationally and very, very sweetly because they want to attract you for their own wishes. They are, they are also Kamatmana and they are also Janma Karma Falaprada. They are also going in the birth and death cycle. That is the fake spirituality. That is the fake divinity. That is the fake religious mischief mongerness. Please excuse me. If I will not tell the truth, that nobody can, will tell truth in this world. Now I want to tell Kriya Vishesh Bahula. Then what will be happen? That this type of person, they are involved in this type blindness of wishes, a desires of different type, millions type. The millions type desires, they have the millions type activities and action and efforts. Because every desire demand its own specific activity. If you want to be a mountaineer, you have to learn the mountaining. If you want to be a very good sprinter, you must practice of sprinting. If you want to be a very good swimmer, you have to practice of swimming. So swimming want its own Kriya Vishesh Bahula, the specific activity. Butterfly, bad stroke, forward stroke, diving, roll as this time. So the, this is a specific activity, is Kriya, which is Bahula. Bahula, it means many, many. Kriya, which is, it means specific activities, specific actions. And what has happened? Kriya, which is Bahula. And why the Kriya, which is Bahula? And why you are 
doing different type of specific activities in your life because Bhogeshwarya Gati, your dynamics, your movements, your orientation, your directions, your journey is going towards the Bhogeshwarya. Bhoga it means the sensory organs inputs because you are taking the food, it is also Bhoga. You are hearing the music, it is also Bhoga. You are smelling the scent and perfume, it is also Bhoga. So, Bhogeshwarya Gatim, Gatim it means your movement, your dynamics, your journey is going towards that specific type, your desires and specific type of your efforts. But now is Krishna is telling in the last of this stanza. Gati Prati Prati it means adverse, adverse, opposite. So you are running opposite from the light. If you are living like this, then you are running opposite the enlightenment. If you are living like this, then you are running towards the dark. If you are doing like this, that you are going opposite of consciousness. You are going towards the unconsciousness. Then if you are going towards unconsciousness, you are opposite from consciousness that you cannot be liberate, that you cannot be become free, your all freedom will be kidnapped by the illusion and the mesmerism of the Maya. My dear friend, choice is yours. There is your two choices. One side is the immortality of the spiritual awareness. And another side, side is a doerness for millions type of wishes. Existence giving you the freedom of choice. My dear friend, The person who loves me, they love existence. The person who loves me, they love enlightenment. A person who chose me, they choose complete awareness. And I am nothing. I am only your servant for enlightenment. Don't respect me. Respect yourself. Don't give me priority. Give the priority for your own peacefulness and awareness. And that's why the total freedom of consciousness only and only will come to you when you will become the watcher, witness or the sakshi and when you do the sakshi meditation of awareness. My dear friend, I know everybody cannot purchase the diamond because he has no money for purchasing the diamond. So everybody in this world cannot be enlightened. Because he has not respect with the master and love with the master, that great quality respect and that great quality love that is called in Hindi Sraddha. But if you do not respect me, don't worry. 
I want to give you a precious technique of meditation. I know that you are opposing the meditation because you are in misunderstandings. Because the many many fake gurus, they already cheated many many times. Many many persons, maybe you are also cheated by any master. But don't worry. I don't want anything, money or any type, gift or any type, any return from you. I am giving you the free of cost this miraculous technique of meditation. And I am assured and I have faith and I have challenged you. You will come one day to this meditation because as you want to take the breath for aliveness, as you want to take the food for your life, as you want to shelter, stay in night, as you want to cover your body by the cloth, you will want this meditation because there is no alternative of this meditation in this world. So you sure and certainly come to this meditation one day. Maybe the hand of others, maybe not my hand, I will, maybe my body will not remain, but like me any master will teach you this meditation. So please, I am requesting all of you, if you do not want to support, please do not oppose this miraculous gift for humanity. But and there is three category persons in this world. One is my disciples and lovers. Second is persons, they want to meditation for peace, happiness, stability, good health, prosperous, prosperity and brotherhood. And I know the third type of persons, they are in the pipeline, they are in the waiting list. They will become in this meditation after some years or some month or some, after some life. So in that type of person they will come to me or as my um, same as I am that another Sadhguru after some time, some month, some life. They also three type of persons. One is very good persons, they do not oppose. Second they are opposed, opposed but they are also good because they are not opposing strongly. One, but the third type of persons, they are Tamogani persons, they can do any evil activity, but don't worry. They are themselves losing the chance. They will get this chance after some birth. My dear friend, I am giving this technique, technique or technology of meditation which is completely free from all your prejudiceness. No religious prejudiceness in this meditation. This meditation is a completely non-religious meditation. When you take the breath, you do not ask oxygen, what is your religion? When you drink the water, you do not ask the water, what is your religion? My dear friend, this meditation is your primary need like the water and the breath. Because the peace is very essential for you. And you want to alive us. If you do this meditation only four or five months, you will 
feel yourself you will try you will see you will examine you 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 see this meditation uh, significance or the positivity or the benefits after five months it is guarantee that you will be feel internal side that you are becoming tense and less and worried less person your internal structure will be change nowadays you are very worried very tense and tense and full person after five months you will be feel that all worries gone away all tensions gone away where there is no dark there is light when there, where there is no any tension no any worried sure and certainly there will be peace so you can enjoy your life with peacefully by this meditation if you are do this meditation only the five month second thing i want to tell when you are no any tension you are in no any tension tension is not in life you are tensionless person how can the tension create diseases can come in your body even they are presence they will slowly slowly eradicate then you will never caught in the diabetes then you will never caught in blood pressure you see me i have no diabetes i have no blood pressure i have no angina i am also facing many trouble in my life i am not a person come direct from heaven i came from my mother's womb and i face many many adverse conditions in my life but i never feel this type of problems and you will also never feel the tension created diseases they will not come in your life it is my guarantee if you do if you are doing this meditation and i am not taking any money so there is no any business i am giving this technology free of cost my dear friend i love all the humans so i am doing this work second thing i want to say when you are very very peaceful person by this meditation then your physiology and anatomy will be changed your pituitary gland will be secrete a very nice secretion your all endocrine glands and they will secrete very good enzymes and hormones and my dear friend your every organ will be torn up and reoriented and reorganize your all internal site of your organs and damages they will be regenerate and all the damages will be repair when you do this meditation because a lot of energy lot of adenosine triphosphate they will be save and that energy will use in your body or reorientation that's why the yogis the great persons like devraha baba they alive devraha baba is an example 900 years he live in this world I have many many examples of my great gurus. They are living long, long time on this earth and serving mankind. So you, your age will be very big duration, and your bodily fitness and bodily strongness and your healthy body will be. become by this meditation second thing i want to tell when you are tensionless worriedless and your observation is very keen so no any mental diseases will come in your life 
no mania, no schizophrenia, uh, no any type of uh, phobia, no any type of depression, no madness, no mental disorder. You are completely mentally healthy and very sharp minded, and very intellectual and very capable brain ability you will be had by this meditation. And when you do this meditation, you can easily detach yourself from the anger, lust and greed. And you will be a very good emotional and balanced person. You will never involve in the crime which comes by the anger or lust or greed. So, when you will become a internally moral person, a good person, a loving person. There is no lust. There is love presence. There is no lust. And there is love present. There is no ego also. So the real love on this earth will be come by this meditation. The real peace will be come by this meditation. The real prosperity will come by this meditation. The real brotherhood and family-like involvement will come by this meditation. My dear friend, this is my verdict. I will not remain after some years. But if this meditation will spread on this earth, this earth will turn into the great positive atmosphere and my dear friend the all families they will become like a blossom flower and all societies because the society make by the families so the society will become like a very good garden brotherhood love mutual understanding cooperation every positivity Will you, you will see in the society. And then societies will change, the nation will change. My dear friend, this is my guarantee. If this meditation will spread, there will be no any fighting, no any war, no any world war on this earth. So I want accept this challenge and I named the mission which is I am accepting. The name of mission is World Peace by Meditation and Meditation of Awareness. My dear friend, if there is no war, the all nations become friendly and loving like a family each other. They can solve, they can resolve, they can, they can uh, solve their every dispute on the negotiation table, then there is no use of atom bomb, neutron bomb, hydrogen bomb, big infrastructure of army, fleets. There is a, then time I am seeing the United Nations organization will be stand in his own original functioning. All will love each other, but only, only devils and the evils, they will not turn. Because the devils and evils, they do not hear to anyone. They have no brain. They have no heart. They have no sensibility. They have no love. So, my dear friend, Please help me. This most precious and most holy work. You are all my brothers and sisters. You are my part of consciousness. We are one consciousness. We are one love. We are one divinity. We are one spirituality. My dear friend, I am doing as I can. But if you will come with me, we will do this work very fast. So, in 24 July 2016, there will be a meditation camp in the Delhi, Noida, Sector 12. In the November 2016, there will be 
two meditation camps in the Holy Land, Puerto Rico. I am telling Holy Land because that is the pioneer place which this meditation camp performing out of India and it is not buttering but I will say the United States America is also a very very good and great and important country because the United States of America the person of the America they are full of love and wisdom and they they knows what is right and what is wrong so in United States of America we are performing the two meditation camps already fixed one in New Jersey and second in New York very near to the time square and the world's prominent persons are also invited the presidents and many many good persons we are inviting them so my dear friend this is the program is coming and I am inviting all of you please join this meditation camps and training programs and there is one seminar of two days art of embracing life they are organizing a two day seminar all of you from all the world you are in, you are invited in this program because they are all my disciples and lovers they are organizing these programs my dear friend, I want you learn this meditation, be the teacher of this meditation, be the master of this meditation and I request you please accept my request, learn this meditation and please subscribe my channel on YouTube. Thank you very much. Love you very much.